Hi, uh, so we've got a question here from Michelle. Can anyone recommend a user-friendly voice-to-text program or app? And Carvey's come in and referred to Google Live Transcribe, which is a great app for an Android device. And there's some other um, comments about iOS. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that both Google Docs and Microsoft Office 365 Word will do dictation or uh, voice to text. So uh, let me quickly show you how to do that. If you're in Google Docs, uh, you can jump into your Chrome browser. It has to be the Chrome browser. You can't even be in the Edge Chromium browser. It's got to be Chrome. And uh, jump into your drive, go into New, go into a Google Doc. And what you can do is start your dictation. So how do you do it? You go to the Tools menu and you go Voice Typing, or you can use the um, keyboard shortcut of Control Shift S. When you do that, voice typing, a little microphone will appear and you click on the microphone. And what I'm going to do is just read a magazine article that I have in front of me. Uh, and we'll see how it goes with, with um, turning that into text on my word processor. <clears throat> Here we go. Applying new skills to tomorrow's challenges, full stop. How computational thinking can give you the framework to make your ideas a reality. Full stop. We know a good idea can come from anywhere or any time. Full stop. Technology can help you to solve problems, comma, big and small, comma, and allow everyone to make their mark. Full stop. So that is, I better just turn this off. So that is how Google Docs will go ahead and convert your dictation into text. It's not too bad. The um, the accuracy is very good, but you do have to type. But you do have to say your punctuation. If you don't say your punctuation, it's all going to be a string of text and nothing else, uh, and you won't get automatic first uh, letters of sentences being uppercase and so on. You still will probably need to go in and fix some things like mark it's detected that's a name but in this case it's not so you need to, to change that so there will be some slight um, corrections that you'll need to make so that's how you do it in google docs let's jump out of there and what we'll do is jump over into um, microsoft word and see how that does exactly the same thing um, this is a cool picture okay so what we'll do is jump into uh, I'm in Yammer, so I'm going to jump across to Word and I'll open it in a new tab. And new blank document. So here is Word with a new blank document ready to come in. And we're going to say exactly the same thing. We'll see how it does the um, dictation. So to turn it on, you go to this option here, which says Dictate. And let's see how they, this works. Applying new skills to tomorrow's challenges, full stop. The computational thinking can give you the framework to make your ideas a reality, full stop. We know a good idea can come from anywhere or any time, full stop. Technology can help solve problems, comma, big and small, comma, and allow everyone to make their mark, full stop. So that's the result that you get from Microsoft Word. It's exactly the same. The uh, accuracy is extremely good. You can talk at a normal pace and it will detect quite well what it is that you're saying. Um, dictation programs of the past you used to have to sit and train for your voice. Um, and this particular product or these products, both in Google and Microsoft land, will do the job extremely well regardless of your voice, your accent, um, and how it interprets. It's not too bad at all. So give it a go. It's definitely worth trying. Uh, it's something that you might find is very good for you, particularly if you're not a great typist. Hope that helps.